So I just am so happy today that I get to speak to one of my favorite people in the community. And one of the reasons I'm so excited is that she's doing a special webinar tomorrow night. And I get the chance to actually speak with her. So Diane, are you still there? I'm here. How are you doing, Marty? I'm doing great. So I know we only have a couple of minutes, but I just wanted to get some information from you and have you talk a little bit about what you're doing tomorrow because I'm, I'm super excited for a couple of reasons. But on our limited time, uh, I wanted to have you share why, or first off, what you're doing tomorrow night or and then tell us a little bit why it's so important. Sure, Marty. You know, I've been in this industry for 14 years and in this space, I guess I've been in this space, kind of the internet network marketing space since before it really existed in a way. Um, and a couple of years ago, about five, six years ago, uh, everybody was talking about attraction marketing and everybody learned about it. And I had learned about it um, actually in 2001 before, uh, you know, it was really prevalent. And everybody was talking about it. And so many people went to the moon with this concept and became rock stars. In fact, today we could look across the industry and pretty much every, every rock star came out of this concept, philosophy, etc. But over the last couple of years, it's kind of been lost. There's been so much stuff going on and so much misinformation and so many people teaching baloney, in my opinion, that we thought it was uh, high time that we came out and we did a definitive training on attraction marketing, exactly what it is and how to use it in your business, breaking it down step by step so that people could really wrap their head around it and apply it and take their business to the moon, too. Absolutely. I think the key word there is apply. So, I mean, if you don't know Diane, absolutely check her out on Facebook and you find her pretty much wherever and she applies what she teaches. One of the, unfortunately, many few people that will speak about certain things but they don't apply it every day. Um, so Diane, why is it so important that somebody really just gets in and takes notes tomorrow night? Because I know I'll be sitting there taking notes because what you say is actually, and it, you know, use a word, it's, it's kind of like gospel and attraction marketing. Um, I've been following you for years from a standpoint of what the heck is she doing and why does it work? So why should somebody sit there pen in hand tomorrow night? Marty, you know, there's certain concepts and and basically theories. They're not even theories. I don't, I don't even know what to call them. Basically, there's ways to attract people. And when a prospect is attracted versus solicited, they're much happier, they're much more comfortable, and they feel safe. A safe prospect is an enrolling prospect. So when we put the power into the hands of the prospect and allow them to come and go as they see fit, what happens is they're much more likely to sign up. Now, I know that sounds a little weird, but that's the way it is in stores. Why do we have big supermarkets and shoe depots and the Home Depot instead of little hardware stores and little shoe stores like we used to? Because people like to feel safe. And when they do, they like to walk around, they like to touch, they like to look, and they don't want to be bothered. But on the flip side, as soon as they want some help, they want to know exactly where it is and their credit card is out. So these concepts can completely turn someone's business around, especially if somebody feels like they're struggling, they're begging, they're bothering people. And these are the common things we hear from people in the industry. All of this gets washed away, all the objections, all the, you know, is this a pyramid, does it cost money to get started? All of those things that people ask when you're marketing on the streets is gone when you learn about attraction marketing. Very, very true. So the one common thing, and while I have you, and I get these precious few minutes with you, um, that I want to just ask of you, because I get this all the time, and I was it held me up in my business for a while. Um, how great are you with technology, Diane? <laughs> Um, it's pretty funny because um, my nickname given to me about five years ago is the digital dingbat. And tomorrow night, uh, Wednesday night, everybody will see how I'm not so good at technology. Do I know how to run stuff now after all these years? Of course I do. I'm terrible at it. Um, technology is wonderful. It's leverage, but it's not necessarily a hurdle that, that will keep anybody from uh, from their uh, succeeding in their business. I'm pretty darn bad, and you will witness it. <laughs> 
Absolutely, and uh, I appreciate you sharing that because that's the common thing that you get is, well, I don't know about this technology or that technology, and what Diane's going to share has nothing to do with technology. She used the keyword there, you leverage technology in your business so you can create more free time to do the things that you're really good at. You know, you can outsource things and do things. Um, so any, any last words, Diane? I appreciate this time so much. Yeah, you know, Marty, all I can say to people is get there. Um, get there. This is important stuff. This is business changing stuff. Uh, people know I don't really like to hype and I'm not a hype monster, but if there was ever a training to go to, this is it. And I'm not afraid to say it. This is a major, major, major event in our space and um, I think everybody needs to be there. Awesome, Diane. Well, I appreciate your time and I will see you on the webinar tomorrow night. See you there. See you there.